Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So this is going to be a tag video. This is my first attempt at starting a new tag video. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this is because I was looking through my channel last night and because I, I thought, I'm sure it's been about a year since I started doing this. And actually, the, today's the 12th of April and I s uploaded my first video on the 12th of April last year. Um, for anyone who's interested, it was a, a Lottie London collection. Um, and I thought, well, what can I do to mark the occasion? I feel as though I need to do something. I've been on YouTube for a year. So I thought I'll start this new tag video. So here it is. Okay, so let's make a start. There are 10 questions here. Um, and the first one is, what's the best part of being a YouTuber, a nail polish YouTuber? And I think as cheesy and as cliche as this sounds, it is the people. It's the people that I've met, the people that I talk to, um, indie makers that I've got to know and, and got friendly with. Um, it's, it's just been amazing. Uh, just such lovely, lovely people. And the comments on my channel are, are always make me smile um, and, and giggle. Um, and I think it's just it's just fun. The best part of being a nail polish YouTuber is the fun that you have and the conversations that you have with other like-minded people who appreciate these little pots of paint that we that we all love. So the second question is the worst part of being a nail polish YouTuber and it's just one thing really for me and that's the time. I try to record a few, I'm not very organised and I'm, I know that people like Polish Pony have got videos scheduled months and months in advance and I'm just not that organised. I do try to use my spare time at the weekends to catch up on filming a few videos for the, for the following week um, and at the moment I think I'm at a stage where I've got about, if I've got five videos scheduled on my channel to go out then I don't panic as much because I know that I can just relax for a few days and that's the videos taken care of for the week um, but that's probably the worst the, the time that it takes and because I've not got a lot of technical know-how for me it takes longer um, the next question is your favorite type of videos to film and for me it's definitely Claire compares um, I like that I've always liked comparison videos being a, a YouTube viewer um, and I remember I used to watch Jessica um, Queen Jessica do her comparison videos I think she called it comparison Thursday or something like that and I always used to look forward to those comparisons especially because she likes similar colors to me as well she's a purple and green person um, so and neutrals so I always used to love watching her comparisons and then she disappeared for a while I know she's back again now um, but I thought well th th I can make my own comparison videos um, so I started doing c Sunday comparisons on Instagram and then I transferred that over to my channel and I can genuinely tell you when I'm filming those videos it is the first time that I'm doing those comparisons so they look they may look similar in the bottle, but there's always a bit of a shock to me when they look very different on the nail or when they look completely different in the bottle, but then very similar on the swatch wheel. So I just find those kind of things really interesting to watch myself. So um, to film, they're the favourite ones for me to film. But I also really like doing collabs as well, especially the challenging ones. Um, OK, let me have a look at, I need to put my glasses on for this for the next question. A new channel you found that you enjoy. So a new nail polish channel. I've got three to mention, actually. Um, one is George's Nails and George is a British YouTuber, nail polish YouTuber. Um, and she's just started at her channel and I'm just I want to support her and I'm really looking forward to watching her videos so that's I've watched a couple of them and um, I, yeah I will link everybody down below I just really enjoy watching nail polish videos and if there's a few British nail polish youtubers as well then that's even better um, secondly I would say one of the 
new YouTube channels that I've started watching, nail polish YouTube channels, is Blissfully, po Polished Blissfully. Um, and that's Kaylee. she's up in Scotland. I love her accent um, and she does fantastic, fantastic, easy to see and easy to explain and understand nail art. Although it's not easy, a lot of it is quite complicated and some of the stuff that she does I've never seen before. I'm not great at nail art. I Actually, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not too bad and I do, I am getting better, but I just, again, I don't really have the time and the focus and the concentration and all the tools that you need for it as well. But I love watching other people do a really good job of nail art and I love watching um, Kaylee's channel. So again, I'll link her channel down below. And thirdly, a new ish, although I don't think she's new, but fairly new to me over the last couple of months, that would be Debbie, Debbie's channel, Sister Chic. And I know a lot of people say Sister Chick, but to me, C-H-I-C is a European thing, I think, that's chic. So I call her Sister Chic. And she's just very honest, very sassy, very passionate about her nail polish and her nail polish choices. So her hauls are always really honest about what she's enjoyed collecting and not enjoyed. Um, and I, I always appreciate her honesty. And she's just lovely. She's just very supportive and there's something really quite special about Debbie. So I will link everybody's channels down below. The new, these are new, not everybody, but they're just the three selected new nail polish channels that I've been watching and enjoying recently. Um, okay, so next question is, what do your friends and family think of you being a nail polish YouTuber? I think they think it's funny. I think they, they laugh about it really. Mainly because I get so excited about it and I spend so much time doing it, like editing videos in the evening. I think the main thing is because I'm in the kitchen and sometimes I just, I'm lazy and I just leave everything everywhere. That's annoying. Um, when I'm filming, I just kind of leave the setup. So I need to be a bit tidier with that. But I think they just think I'm a bit bonkers, really. I think they think I'm going through some sort of midlife crisis, which possibly I am. <laughs> um, but I just, yeah, I enjoy it. And I think they see that I enjoy it and they appreciate that it's a hobby, you know, and you just need to make sure that you're still connected, as with any hobby, that you're still connected and rooted to your real life and what's going on in your real life and you don't get too carried away with spending too much time on YouTube and filming YouTube videos so it's finding the right balance I guess um, but yeah I think they think it's funny the next question is a memorable comment that you've had on your channel and I've had loads actually really funny comments that have made me laugh it's funny isn't it in life the things that stand out to you the things that you can have a hundred positive things that happen to you and if one negative thing happens that's the thing that you remember and it's ridiculous really but the reason I remember this is because it, again, it just made me laugh. It was one of my earlier videos, like way back last year. Um, and I think I was doing a video on my blue polishes or something like that. If you go back, you can probably find it. My favorite blue polishes, I think. And there was a comment left. Um, oh, it was words to the effect of, uh, oh, what was it now? It was something like, too slow, bitch, get to the point. <laughs> now, I read it and it just made me laugh because, um, and I, um, I I think I just responded with her, that made me laugh. Um, but when I was little and I used to try, when I was explaining something to my mum, to my mother, she would always say to me, oh my God, Claire, just get to the point get to the point, get to the point, you're going everywhere, all around the whole story, maybe I'm just a storyteller, I don't know, but um, she would always say to me, get to the point, so that comment actually, was, although it was a, it, you could have taken that negatively, it kind of reminded me of my mum and made me laugh, so that's probably my mo most memorable comment on my channel. Um, the next question is plans for your channel and it's as boring as this sounds it's probably just more of the same really um, I'm trying to do more regular series so 
my glossy box, me box, Magnificent Seven, Claire Compares, um, any hauls, um, new collections. At the moment, my budget is a bit limited, so I can just about stretch to maybe some of the cheaper collections. And I've always really, I've never really had an urge to buy every single polish in a particular collection. I just tend to pick out the ones that I like. But um, more swatching, swatching indie polishes um, and indie collections, I always enjoy doing that. And more, just more collabs um, and fun tags and series and things like that. If anyone's got any ideas, I mean, I'm never short of ideas, so don't worry. I don't think I'm going to run out of ideas of videos to make. But um, if you've got any ideas and you want me to take those into consideration with my schedule and timetable, then please let me know. Uh, but generally, those are the, the plans for the channel. Um, okay. So the last three questions are all about nail polish. So not just being a YouTuber, it's just back to the nail polish. So this next question is, what are you wearing now? And I'm wearing something very dull. This is Essie Hobby for Dessert. And it's one of those bridal, very, very sheer polishes. It's got a faint... This is part of my project polish, polish, which is why I'm wearing it. Um, but it's a very, very faint um, lilac, very, very sheer. And these types of polishes I don't wear very often, but I am, I'm actually quite enjoying this one. So the next question is a brand that's impressing you right now. And I would say, just because I've bought two collections or m most of the collections recently, I would say um, Essence. Let me just grab. So these three are uh, favourites from my recent uh, haul, Essence haul. Um, I got six out of the collection of seven and I absolutely love these. So two hollows and linear hollows and holographic black amazing amazing quality for two pounds a bottle so uh essence have always impressed me but at the moment i'm finding them really really impressive with their new collections um and the last question is your thoughts on your nail polish collection as a whole um okay i'm happier with my collection at the moment because i've downsized uh, I would say that I still feel as though I'm going to need some extra storage at some point in the future. Um, but I also think I'm going to be continuing to de-stash in the future. And I might get to the point where if I really feel that I need to buy, I'm kind of on a no-buy apart from budget polishes at the moment um, and swaps and things like that. But uh, And me box. <laughs> but I... I think what I want to do is have a collection that I know I will wear every single polish that I've got. And at the moment, I know that there are still some in my collection that I would just never look at. And they're just going to be sat on the shelf for years and years and years. So if somebody else can enjoy them, that's why I like doing the de-stashes. So it also helps me to make more considered, intelligent choices about my preferences when I'm looking at polish rather than it just having a red label and being like I have to have it um, so my collection as a whole at the moment I'm happy with I'm looking at downsizing it a little bit more um, and it's a lot tidier than it used to be so I'm appreciating that a lot more so those were my 10 questions I hope that's helped you to get to know me a bit better I will be continuing on YouTube. If anybody else wants to do this tag, please feel free. Um, I will list all of the questions down below as well. And I'll list the channels that I've mentioned. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you for sticking with me. Thanks for your support, everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.